someone says spring blazer, you can't tell me you don't think about this blazer. Hi everyone, I'm Naja. Okay, we need to jump right into this video because it is juicy. There are two things we need to talk about. One, this new plant that is making my space look so much more alive. It's my first plant baby in this apartment. It's very near and dear to my heart. I have not named it yet, but that will be happening very soon. And it makes the space look so much more alive and exciting. And my interior design skills at this point are superior. She has a plant, she's ready to go. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about are all of the spring items that I've recently thrifted. And now let me tell you, you're going to be quaking. I had no idea that I would hit the jackpot like this, but I do have three thrifting suggestions that I wanna share with you because once I started following these, my thrifting has gotten better and better. I realized that having a color palette before you go will help you out a lot because now you've completely cut the selection in half. You know exactly what you're looking for. If something catches your eye, you can take a quick look at it. At least it's speeding up the process a little bit. So that is the first suggestion that I have. The second suggestion I have is to go to thrifting department stores, so like Value Village, say Goodwill, or if you have like a Renaissance or something like that, in upper class areas. Now, I say this because, and we can debate on this if you want, Rich people don't put much value on their clothing, unless it's designer, luxury wear. I would highly suggest going to a suburban area and going to that thrift store. That is why I found so many quality pieces. The other suggestion that I wanted to give you is to go through the pieces one by one. Yes, that can be very time consuming. It can potentially get boring, but if you love to thrift and if you wanna find really dope quality vintage one-of-a-kind pieces then i think that's the best thing to do and my last suggestion is to know what you're looking for on my thrifting days i was like okay it's springtime i know that i want blazers denim and light blouses kept that in the back of my mind so when i was going through racks and everything like that i was finding blazers that matched the color palette that i had planned and everything like that. So those are my suggestions for thrifting, which will make your eye for fashion a lot stronger. To start off my spring essentials, I'm going to show you the jewelry that I got. I got this teardrop necklace that has jewels all over it. This cost $12.99. I love finding necklaces that have all of the jewels in them. The next thing I got is this really dainty green ring. The other thing that I got, which I don't usually get, but earrings. Now. These cost $4.99 and they're a little bit rusted, but I love the way that they look, the kind of braided feel to them. It's very ancient, very vintage. When you're shopping for jewelry, make sure that you cleanse your items. Yes, from bacteria and everything like that, but from jujus as well. I am a firm believer that jewelry does carry energy. Just look up simple ways if you use sage or palo santo or if you want to cleanse it with salt. Cleanse your thrifted jewelry. You do not want to be wearing something that belonged to someone who was doing crazy things on the low or, you know, someone who just had really frantic energy. So yeah, that's one thing that I do is we cleanse all the bad jujus away. And listen, if you're laughing at the fact that I cleanse my jewelry from evil energy and bad spirits, if you don't know, now you know. And if you know, then we're on the same wavelength and like, I respect you. I feel the mutual respect because you know what jewelry can hold and you know the history behind that. Stay blessed. That's all I'm gonna say. That's it for my thrifting suggestions. It's time to try these on. The very first spring blazer that I found when I was thrifting is this pink raspberry sorbet, oversized shoulder padded, boxy blazer. This is a quality thrift find because it only costs $9.99 and on top of that it hits the color palettes for spring's fashion trends as well as the actual style of it. Yes, if you are looking for blazers to fit with the trends then make sure you find blazers with shoulder pads as well as in the color palette.
The second blazer I have is iconic and speaks for itself. This was $9.99, 100% silk. And on top of that, can we talk about the lace detailing, the dainty pearl buttons. And the best part about this blazer is the dainty silk bow that is placed right below the waistline. I have so many outfit ideas planned in my head. If you wanna see any of my fire outfits, follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll be taking pictures. And the way to go with this is to dress it up. And not even dress it up, actually just to match the vibrations that it's already at because this is so elegant. Pairing it with nice dainty gold jewelry, a red lip, <sighs> breathtaking. Not to mention, I love the slightly puffed shoulders. This makes it have a lot of shape. And there's so much to look at, I'm obsessed. The third blazer that I found at Value Village is this deep plum, almost brown, blazer that is perfect for the spring and the fall. Now this color isn't necessarily a spring color, it's more of a fall vibe, but you have so many options to dress this up, dress this down. I paired it with sweatpants because we're taking this outfit down to the street wears. We're taking this to comfortable but still means business. And just pair it with your favorite pair of sneakers and you're ready to go. I believe this cost how much? $10.99? It did. The next spring essential that I thrifted is this brown leather jacket. Can we talk about it? How stunning. Oh my gosh. I swear, this jacket is exactly what I was looking for and that's what I mean by make a mental list because you'll be manifesting the things that you're searching for. It'll just magically appear. And I got this jacket from Eva B for $60 now. Let's talk about Eva B and their jacket selection. They have so many options, but they're stacked together in the back of the store. And when you look at it, it seems so overwhelming. But again, I swear, if you take the time to sift through all of the clothing, well not clothing, but all of the jackets or the trench coats, you'll find a quality piece. Wearing leather in the summer is a bit problematic because you already know you're gonna be sweating your ass off. And then wearing it in the winter, it's kind of hard because you're gonna be freezing your ass off. I find that in the spring, brown leather jackets are the way to go. I feel like black leather jackets are a little bit too heavy. I'm not saying you shouldn't wear them, but with the spring and pastel and light floral colors, having a brown leather jacket will complement your outfit a lot more than having a really heavy black leather jacket. So yeah, that's definitely a spring essential and this is a quality thrift find. That is all we do on this channel, find quality thrift finds. And yeah, I guess it's time for the next thing that I thrifted. Just kidding, well, we're not going anywhere because the next thing that I thrifted, I have on. This lightweight sweater is going to be perfect for the hot, humid months that are coming up really shortly. And I love it so much because I did make a mental note for my item checklist to have either knitted or crocheted sweaters, dresses. I paired this with a small bralette underneath. I think pairing it with a white bralette might add a little bit more contrast. Mine is burgundy, but it still does the trick. And wearing this white outfit makes it really clean, really crisp, very spring. It's a little bit preppy because of the collar, but in the fall time, this is gonna be great for when I wanna wear a turtleneck, even in the winter time. And this is gonna do really well for layering because of how lightweight this is. And yeah, it's very breathable. Love the color. You know that you can never go wrong with white cream beige. That will never get old. That is a staple in the wardrobe. So this is definitely a spring essential and it cost $6.50. Spring, do you know her? I do. <sighs> the peaches, the floral, the light wash denim. Tell me you love spring without telling me you love Spring. This cost me $6.50. I lost the tag, but I do remember the price just for you. And I'm not lying, it was $6.50. And this is perfect for spring. It's super breathable, super airy, very flowy. I love just the... <coughs> it's so beautiful, I lose my breath. When I start to add a little bit more details with accessories and shoes and stuff like that, you will definitely see this outfit on my Instagram. <laughs> the next spring essential that I thrifted, and I don't have the price tag for because I've been wearing them the past four days, but 
it's these Levi pants. Now these cost $20.99 and this is what I mean by rich people don't put value on their clothes because the fact that I found a pair of Levi's wide leg, I'm shook. You're trying to tell me that you don't find the value in a pair of Levi's that will last you a lifetime? Don't even worry about it. I'll take it off your hands. I know for a fact these cost probably like over $60 for sure. Maybe even scratching the surface of $120 depends on if they bought them when they were in season, when they were popping, but that doesn't matter because I got them for $20.99. On top of that, these Levi's are actually lightweight, which I really like because it can get hot, especially when you're wearing denim. And the other pair of denim that I got are these cutoff shorts. I got these from Value Village and I didn't mention that the Levi's I bought were also from Value Village. You already know. These denim shorts are really good. I love the length of them because they're not little poom poom shorts, but they're also not too long where it's like really awkward. But actually, I don't even mind long shorts. It just depends on the fabric. When it comes to denim, I'm not huge on them going past the knee. These were $15.99. That's that for my denim essentials in the spring. And the last spring essential that I thrifted very loud is this rain jacket that costs 50 cents. I love this for when I'm hustling and bustling in the streets. I'm having a crazy day. I need to run around. This jacket will help me see the light at the end of the tunnel. Of course it's pink because pink is my favorite color. I've tried to suppress my feelings towards pink for a very long time. I felt like it was too societal gender rule esque and then I realized I'm actually obsessed with the color pink and then the next color I'm obsessed with is green that's not the point of this video anyways you guys that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video and thank you